So, let's start with the double declining balance method. Okay, so the double declining balance method, this method is very similar to the declining balance method. It's just that the rate of depreciation, K, okay, is equal to 2 divided by L. So, if you notice, uh, the, or if um, you have your notes with you with the previous discussion, you can uh, tell that the uh, that the formula for the depreciation at year N okay, is similar to the declining balance method. It's just that this is K, right? So 1 minus K raised to N minus 1 times K. So this time, in the double declining balance method, it is specified that the K or the rate of depreciation is equal to 2 divided by L. Okay? And it applies to the rest of the formulas. But uh, we need to take note Okay. Take note that when we use the dec uh, double declining balance method, the salvage value should not be subtracted from the first cost when calculating the depreciation charge. Okay. So just uh, take note of that that in the double declining balance method, we do not um, subtract okay the salvage value from the first cost or the original cost when we uh, calculate the depreciation charge. Okay, so given all this, um, uh, this equations, you can uh, realize the use of all this by solving an example. Okay, so determine the rate of depreciation. Okay, uh, the total, uh, the total, the total depreciation up to the end of the eighth year, and also the book value at the end of eight year for an asset that cost, costs, costs, dami naman yung 15,000, mali naman ako. Baka maano. Wow, tinawanan ako, nakakatawa. Joke. Hindi, okay lang. Nakakatawa naman talaga. Daming zero. Okay. Napatingin sila, nakamute ba? Hindi ito, nakamute. Okay. Okay lang, kinakatawa naman talaga. Okay. Um... Sana ako. Uh, 15,000 new and has an estimated scrap value of 2,000 at the end of 10 years. Um, you are asked to determine that using the declining balance and the double declining balance method so that we can compare. Let's try that. Okay, teka lang, lalabas natin si annotation. Cursor pala, kasi yung mouse hawak. Okay, so using the declining balance method. Okay, um, let's just refresh ourselves. Ang mga formula niya, ang formula niya for k is equal to 1 minus square root of L, c over L divided by c over O. Tama? Okay, so yun yung formula niya. And to solve for this, okay, um, dahil de uh, declining balance, hindi, hindi ito yung double declining yung ano natin na 2 over L. So ito sa declining balance. So it would be 1 minus 10th root, okay, of the cost at year 10 divided by or er, uh, scrap value na pala yun kasi nagkantayin yun yun. Binigay lang, akala ko solve pa na. 2,000 divided by the original na 15,000. What is the value for K? I hope you have your calculators with you. 
And I hope you are writing your solutions at least kahit sa scratch paper. Kasi estudyante po kayo, hindi po kayo nag-webinar. If we solve, you'll get the value of K as or 14.87%. minus ay naka 10,000 lang sorry parang may mali 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 erase erase ah, diba walang nagsasolve wala nakapansin na mali Ayo. thank you Christy at sinasamahan mo ako magsolve sana all thank you Carl grabe no parang nagmamakaawa ang pangit wag na Okay lang di mag-solve. Para sa dulo, <laughs> hindi rin kayo magmakaawa sa akin. Pwede ba yun? Hmm. Diba? Oh, um, we have the rate of depreciation. How about the total depreciation up to the end of year 8? How are we going to solve that? Total depreciation. Um, and book value. Siyempre, para makuha natin yung total depreciation, kunan muna natin yung book value. Kasi yung book value, isusubtract natin yung sa original cost. Tama? Yung, kung baga, kung yung book value niya at year 8. So, if we solve for the book value at year 8, using the uh, using the declining balance method, we can solve this by having the um, original cost, 1 minus K raised to N, which is 8. So, any original um, value, 15,000, multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.1825 raised to 8. Uh, what is the answer that we will get? So we'll have 200, 2,992.22 uh, two and 22 cents. Okay, and then uh, to get the depreciation, total depreciation up until, wag nyo i-DM sa akin. Pwede nyo i-send lang sa buong ano. Okay lang yan. Okay, so the total depreciation would be total cost minus the book value at that year. Ano gumagal sa screen ko? Okay, so what is the answer? <laughs> Sige lang, okay lang. 12,078. Okay. Guys, in the next slide ko, pero hindi ko na muna buburahit para mapag-ano natin, mapag-compare natin. Ha? Ah. Ay, sa taas, sa B. Ito na sulat yung buo. Okay, double declining naman tayo. So, sabi natin sa double declining, ang rate of depreciation, which is K, is equal to 2 divided by L. So, 2 divided by 10 is? Okay. Are. Okay, or one-fifth. Sige. Okay tayo dyan, ha? 
kasi yan yung pinagkaiba niya technically with the double declining and it will affect all the um all the formulas so if you get the uh, book value at year 8 okay so it will be uh, the original cost okay times 1 minus k or 2l again na natin raised to n so it would be 15000 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.2 na lang para din tayo mahirapan then eight. what do we have there Two five one six point fifty eight. Okay. How about the total depreciation at a uh, year eight? Ganun din. Original cost minus the book value. So, Okay. So, makikita mo yung pinagkaiba, no? So, it's double declining. Um, therefore, dahil di noble, no? Uh, we, can, we would think that uh, the depreciation would be uh, faster, okay, in time. So, at year 8, their comparison is that, makita naman natin, mas malaki yung depreciation at double decline. Okay? You have questions for this example? Okay. So, um... Next example reads a plant bought a calciner. Calciner ito yung ano uh, para sang rotating cylinder na pinapainit yung material sa loob. Okay? Um for 220,000 pesos and it is used to or it is used for 10 years which is the lifespan of the equipment. So what is the book value of the calciner after 5 years of use? Assume a scrap value of uh, 20,000 for the straight line method and uh, double declining and assume uh, a scrap value of 22,000 at declining balance. How are going to do that? So, bali tatlo yung isosolve natin. Ano? Okay? So, um, lagi muna natin yung given okay, na ang original value, original cost is 220,000. Okay, and then our lifespan or your useful life, 10 years. And then we have ang tinatanong sa ating reference five years. So using the straight line method, okay, paano natin gagawin yun? Ang, di ba ang, ano doon, ang depreciation at um, year 8 is magiging, um, Gawin natin yun para makita natin yung formula. Ma-recall tayo. Okay? So, it would be N, C, O, minus C, L, divided by L. Tama? So, it would be 5, 220,000, minus 20,000, divided by 10. So, what is the depreciation at year 5? Okay, so okay. thank you, Pins, for providing the formula. Pero yan yung depreciation at a specific year. No? We multiply it with N para malaman natin ilan yung total in 5 years. So it's 
100,000. Tapos, anong tinanong sa atin? Uh, a book value nga pala hinihingi. Okay, so, therefore, our book value at year 5 okay, would be uh, the um, original cost minus the depreciation in total. Minus 100,000. So, we will get 1,200. Okay. Madali lang yung straight line. Tama. Uh, let's go to the double declining. Hindi ko na muna rin buburahin. Sa next slide natin ilagay lahat. Para meron tayo. Okay, sa so declining balance method, ang ating scrap value ay 22,000. So therefore, to solve for um, the book value muna, no? A book value naman talaga hinihingi. The book value at year 5. Okay, di ba? So yeah, CO times 1 minus K. Ay, hindi. Uh, tama. Wait lang. Gamitin natin yung isa, yung... Gamitin natin yung isa pang formula. Diba? CO times uh, CL over CO. Ay. Didilip kasi yan. Para lahat given, no? N over L. So, uh, with that, you'll have 220,000 times 22,000 divided by 220,000. 5 over 10. Answer? Sixty nine thousand five hundred seventy and eleven cents, correct? So letter C double declining balance method, ang ating scrap value ay twenty thousand. Sabi sa problem. So to get the book value, we have C O times one minus K na two over L raised to I see raised to five. Times, ah, hindi na pala. Ano pala to? Uh, book value pala to. Balik niya tayo. O book value. Hindi pala depreciation per year niya. Pala. So we have 220,000 times 1 minus 2 divided by 10 raised to 5. So what's the answer? Okay. Questions about this example?